It appears the full self-driving of Tesla vastly improved, but we encourage you to take a look for yourself. Full self-driving beta version 9 is coming soon and the public rollout will follow. Tesla CEO Elon Musk took to Twitter to comment about Tesla's full self-driving beta technology. The tweet that got the conversation started actually had to do with horses. However, Musk continued to tweet and reply with several juicy morsels of information. The conversation was the most telling in some time related to the improvement and expansion of the advanced driving assist system. Most of Musk's interactions on Twitter start with some meme or some sort of cryptic late-night message. He works to get people's attention, then moves to share just enough information to get them talking and tweeting. Musk went on to reply to a question related to the FSD beta timeline. He agreed that public FSD beta could launch in Q2 of 2021, though he was clear that Tesla needs to be very careful with this step of the rollout. The CEO has said before that the version of the FSD beta, version 8.1, he currently uses is mostly free of interventions. In a reply, he added that the upcoming build will be a big step change beyond that. Musk also noted that Tesla is solving a major part of real-world AI. He also said that this is not widely known. However, the most interesting information followed when Musk asked about the potential for the increased rollout of the self-driving beta technology, meaning offering it up to a wider group of test drivers and eventually the entire public. He said the rollout will be much wider once version 9 is complete. He added that it could be as soon as next month. It's important to note that just a few days prior, Musk confirmed on Twitter that Tesla's full self-driving beta subscriptions are coming in Q2 of 2021 for sure. What do you make of all this? Is this just Musk being Musk and seeking attention, trying to boost stock, etc? Or are we finally almost at the point that a fleet-wide rollout of Tesla's full self-driving beta technology will finally become a reality? Leave us your thoughts below. Before we continue, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. It supports us massively and honestly, thanks a lot. New Tesla Solar Roof Tiles Spotted at Test Facility New Tesla solar roof tiles in a different colour have been spotted at the automaker's test facility near Fremont Factory in California. When Tesla first unveiled its solar roof tiles in 2016, the product wasn't fully formed yet, but the company had several different designs. Tesla has had issues bringing the product to volume production and deployment as it tries to test the longevity and make the installation quicker. It's only over the last year that we've seen Tesla accelerate deployment, but we have only seen a single version of the tile being installed on customer roofs. The product was originally offered in four different styles – textured glass tiles, slate glass tiles, Tuscan glass tiles and smooth glass tiles. The other styles are supposed to be released soon after the textured tiles, but we have yet to see any of them. Now, we are seeing the first indications that the new style of Tesla solar roof tiles might be coming soon. A group of Tesla short sellers on Twitter, often referred to as TCLAQ, have been often flying over the Tesla facilities in the Bay Area and spotted Tesla's test homes for solar roof tiles. The pictures show solar roof tiles of a bronze-like colour that haven't been spotted before. It's hard to say from that distance, but based on the colour alone, it could be the Tuscan glass type of tile. Tesla has built homes at its factory in order to not test new iterations of its solar tiles, but also to train roofing teams, both internal teams and from third-party roofing companies, to install the tiles rapidly and efficiently. It's starting to pay dividends as we are seeing an acceleration in Tesla's deployment of new solar roof projects in the US. The company is also planning to expand to Canada and Europe. Tesla thinks battery swaps are bad now According to a report from Electrek, Tesla is no longer interested in developing a battery swap procedure 
contrary to recent rumours. In 2013, Tesla demonstrated a battery swap using a modified version of now defunct startup Better Place Battery Swap System. Tesla actually constructed one facility in Harris Ranch, California, though it only allowed certain Model S owners to have their batteries swapped. It closed in 2016, and we never heard anything about it again. Electric suggests that the project may have been aimed at securing subsidies from the state of California. Reports that Tesla China had registered to provide sales of battery swap facilities for new energy vehicles sparked speculation that the company might be exploring battery swaps again. That speculation was supported by the fact that Chinese EV company NIO seems to have figured battery swaps out, and the fact that, according to CNEV Post, China's new subsidy policy for new energy vehicles effective last year said that only new energy vehicles priced at no more than RBM 300,000, around $46,420, are eligible for the new round of subsidies, while models that support battery swap modes are not subject to this rule. Tesla China's Model Y and Model 3 performance version are priced above RBM 300,000. NIO has been doing battery swaps commercially for a while, recently introducing its second generation of battery swapping station. With over 200 stations, over 500,000 swaps have been performed since the stations were introduced in 2018. Tesla, however, doesn't see a future in it. A spokesperson for the company shut down rumours the company would get back into the technology via Shine. A Tesla official said the company believes electric vehicle charging is the best way to power its vehicles, and that battery swapping is riddled with problems and not suitable for wide-scale use. Tesla's yoke steering wheel could be declared illegal. The NHTSA is still investigating. Tesla is continuously pushing the boundaries in terms of automotive technology. Its autopilot system has stunned us and caused quite a stir on the internet, and the upcoming Tesla Cybertruck is set to revolutionize the pickup truck game. But sometimes the California-based company can go too far. We're talking, of course, about the brand's strange new steering wheel setup that some believe is preparing drivers for a fully autonomous future. The steering wheel comes as an optional extra on the refreshed Model S and Model X, and it looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. The NHTSA was recently investigating a new wheel and has now released a new statement regarding its stance on the matter. Tesla's new yoke steering wheel setup has raised a few eyebrows, but European countries such as the Netherlands don't seem to have an issue with it. Previously, the NHTSA had stated that it cannot determine if the steering wheel meets federal motor vehicle safety standards. In its latest statement, the organization remains vague about the future of the odd-shaped wheel. NHTSA is aware of the recently launched Tesla steering yoke in certain Model S vehicles. We recommend and received information from Tesla about the steering yoke and we remain actively engaged in the company during our review. NHTSA routinely engages with auto manufacturers and suppliers to better understand the new technologies and features they develop and introduce to the US fleet, it said in a statement to Tesla Ratti. According to the NHTSA's FMVSS, Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard, Tesla has the right to determine whether or not any new equipment will meet FMVSS standards in-house, using its own methods to analyze. But at the end of the day, the NHTSA always gets the final word. The yoke steering wheel does away with turn signal stocks and will apparently use AI to determine when to indicate. This small controversy comes in the wake of Tesla's announcement that it will soon implement its full self-driving tech, which promises to make autopilot look like a blindfolded chimp driving a tank. We think that the new steering wheel design looks cool, but we await the final word from the powers that be. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Did you not subscribe already? Then make sure you do it right now so you won't miss out on any of the latest Tesla news and updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.